<laughs> so, uh, American Dream put out another video, apparently, on me, saying that the ape father is exposed, that apparently I filed for bankruptcy. Um, obviously, this is not true. <laughs> this is obvious, complete and utter bullshit. Uh, I'm not really sure what American Dream is doing. Look, I know he's an entertainer. I know that, you know, he wants to get views. He wants to get subscriptions. And, you know, see, this is the thing. Let's see. A lot of people over the last couple of years have said very, very, you know, untruthful, you know, in, in some cases, really, really horrific things about me in order to get views, in order to get subscriptions. You know, like there was that guy, Top Ticker Trades, who actually made a video saying that I was, you know, a child molester. <laughs> I mean, and I'm like, bro, you can't say things like that. I'm a father. I have two children. And I'm like, do you have any evidence of this? You have, like, I mean, to make such a hor horrible accusation. You know, you're talking about, talking about the lowest form of scum on earth. The lowest form of scum on earth. And I said to this guy, top ticket trades, I'm like, do you have any, like, proof of this? Do you have any evidence? And he goes, I think I heard it once. I, and, he, and what he was referring to was Tendi time with that crazy thing where, you know, Tendi time had a cell phone number. He called me up one time asking me for help. Meaning, hey, Father, look, can you, like, mention me? Can you make videos about me? Can you help me get subscribers? I did. And then we stayed in contact. You know, we were friends. And I don't know, something happened along the lines where Teddy Time, like American Dream, decided that being my friend was not really working out. <laughs> And there was a lot more to be gained by being my enemy. So Tendi Time then started making up lies. Oh, I found out that, uh, you know, Ape Father stole money from his children's trust fund. This is obviously an impossible thing to do. You can't steal money from a trust fund. You have to go in front of a judge. You have to go in front of a court. And you have to give justifiable reasons why you need money. People make these accusations like, I don't know. I bought a car using my my children's... And this isn't a possibility. The judge would never approve it. My father actually specifically, uh, specifically put conditions into trust that the funds should be used only for educational purposes. Now, don't get me wrong. There are exceptions in the sense where if, let's say, my children needed money for board or for living expenses, yes. You know, that's something that would be uh, considered by the judge, but to buy a car, I mean, it's complete and utter ridiculous nonsense. But these were like things that people were putting out, like Teddy time. I told him to, to take that video down. He never did. It winded up becoming a war between us, where then he actually filed a, a false police report uh, in, in Georgia, claiming I was harassing his 12-year-old daughter. Again, this is all crazy nonsense. This was always Teddy Time's cell number. Um, and I was just texting him, basically saying, take the video down. I was very angry. And then, you know, the, the, a number that was always Teddy Time's number for like the entire time that we were in communication. I guess he gave this cell phone to his 12-year-old daughter. And, you know, it was just, look, whatever. I, I didn't say nothing inappropriate. I, I don't know. She was just like, who are you? Do you like dogs? I'm like, yeah, I'm, I am a dog. Rough, rough, Max, all this, all this stuff, whatever it is. I, I, I had no idea that this was a 12-year-old girl. This whole time, it was Tendi times number. The whole thing was a big misunderstanding anyway, whatever. But you see, the same thing is happening now with uh, American Dream. I, I really do believe this, and I hate to say this, look. American Dream has always been a big supporter of mine. And I think now he's starting to see that being a supporter of mine may not necessarily be in his be his best interest. He 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 might be um, succeeding more on YouTube, becoming my enemy, you know. And um, he's gonna he's probably gonna get more subs now, 
he's probably going to get a lot more views. And I think a lot more people, because look, I see this happen over and over and over again. Like you look at Chad, you know, Young Gun Clifford, <laughs> Chad Seaman Goggle Clifford. You look at um, Dale, Daddy's Boy, RuPaul Dale, Triple Chin Dale. I mean, the list goes on and on. Even Phil For Real. Look, Phil For Real started a channel where literally we were friends. He helped me switch to Fidelity. We were totally cool at some point. I don't know exactly. I think because we, I think what happened was we had a disagreement over Adam Aaron. That was it. Phil For Real became Adam Aaron's like, you know, friggin' number one groupie. <laughs> I had a major problem with that. We, and then we had like a war. I mean, I could go on and on and on. But at some point, most AMC YouTubers have figured, you know, being the enemy of the ape father is better ultimately for their YouTube career to get more views and to get more subscriptions. And then unfortunately, one of my biggest uh, supporters, America Dream, is going down the same road, it seems like, as Chad Clifford, as Dale, Triple Chindale, as Ted D. Time, uh, Commanded 35 is another one. You know, I mean, look, all I can tell you is this. Remember at the end of the day, the good always wins. Good always wins and triumphs over friggin' evil. And in my opinion, Lou is evil. Okay. Uh, Lou, Mr. Uh, Lucifer, he calls himself. You know, Lou made a video earlier saying he wants to be the, the appointed the leader of AMC. As a guy who's never owned any AMC, he never owned one single share, one fractional share of AMC. Um, a, a noted criminal who has stole $73,000 from senior citizens. Yeah, this is the guy who wants to be appointed the leader to represent the AMC apes and the retail investors. Listen to me, Lou. First of all, if you ever look at these court documents with this guy, <laughs> I don't even want to tell you. The things I've read were insane. Okay, it said things like this. I can't afford the interest. See, let me let me emphasize this. It's one thing to say, hey, a lot of people don't have $73,000 liquid. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Okay, so I would get it that Lou would say, look, to the judge, I don't have $73,000 liquid. But Lou went as far as to say <laughs> he couldn't afford the interest on $73,000, meaning he was completely... And utterly dead broke. He has no house, no car, no assets, nothing. So Lou had to figure out a way to come up with the $73,000. He starts a YouTube channel, starts talking about AMC, and got himself a lot of followers. You know, he got at one point well over 80,000 subscribers, 73 million views. He makes a you know, quarter of a million, and that money helped him pay off his crimes, okay? So now what happened is that Lou realized that all the stuff he said on these videos, you know, were pretty much no disclaimers, all complete lies, all complete manipulations. He's got secret connections by ass, okay? So Lou says it's time to vapor vaporize this channel. Just shuts down the channel, starts a whole new channel, and nobody recognized him. It was called Behind the Streets. He was getting no views. No one could find him. So he figured the smart thing to do, go back to the original channel name he had before. Now, he's doing the same things he did before. But I don't know if all of you noticed this. He's, he's taking a major step down now. You notice how Lou is now not saying he has secret connections anymore. You notice how Lou is not saying that, you know, fraudulent banks... Are, are approaching him and offering him payoffs. He's not saying, like, you know, Gary Gendler just called him. He's not saying anything like this anymore. So what he's doing is just simply talking about AMC. So in a way, it's brilliant. I have to say he's a brilliant con man. I do, in a way, give him credit because what he did was he built up a channel, making himself look like a guy who had 20-plus years of Wall Street experience, knew all the biggest traders, knew all the top people on Wall Street, realized that was going to put him back in jail, right? Allegedly, of course. And then shuts down that channel. Now, 
opens up another channel with the same exact name, but now he's talking kind of more on a realistic level, just basically talking about AMC and getting a tremendous amount of views. He is. He surpassed me right now in subscriptions. He's, he's, he's catching up very quickly on views, but remember something at the end of the day. Good will always triumph over evil. That's it. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to keep exposing Lou. I'm going to keep calling him out for the con man that he is. And you know what? There are people who are listening. Not everybody is a brainwashed mongoloid who listens to this buffoon. There are people who can see through that this guy is nothing but a con man. Okay. But you might say, why are you bringing all of these people up? Because it's like a circle now, what's happening. It's a circle. I noticed that Lou has kind of started to respond to, uh, you know, Dale Daddy's boy, Triple Chin Dale. Lou is uh, responding to, uh, you know, Chad, you know, Seaman Goggle, uh, Clifford. And there's all these alt accounts. Like, it started with that guy, Vera. Uh, there's WTF198. I, I, I think this might potentially be Chad Clifford. There's just so many haters. Some guy named Ape Daddy, whatever. There's even people who go as far as to call themselves the Ape Father. I mean, there is so they have they now have a fake Daniel Sam account. I mean, it's just absolutely incredible. These haters are working overtime. And like I said, I never really understood the motivation. I don't understand the motivation. It, look, in the case of Dale, Triple Chin Dale. Chad, C. Goggle, Clifford, I get it. They want subscriptions. They want to get monetized. They want to get views. I feel that's the same exact case with American Dream. Unfortunately, that's it. He's going from my supporter in a way to my enemy because he just wants to get subscriptions. He wants to get views at any cost. And he's making up lies saying I'm claiming bankruptcy. It's lies. Okay, show the link. Let's speak. Show the proof. Where's the evidence I'm going bankrupt? That's it. Show the link. There is no link. There is no evidence. Of course, it's made of bullshit. But this is what people unfortunately resort to in order to get subs, in order to get views. It's pretty disgraceful. It's in Italian, we say, disgraziata. Okay? Mama Luke's stunads. What are you going to do? Video is not financial advice, not a financial planner. This video is for entertainment purposes only.